We've installed and configured Visual Studio Code. Let's now discuss the workflow and how to get started with programming in C++. A good starting point is to create a base project that you can use as the basis for all other ones. So let's do that. I've created an empty folder over here called starting project. Drag and drop it into Visual Studio Code. Command palette, make in a project and choose C++. We now in our directory the make file, directory source, we have a directory include in there and a directory object. So let's configure the make file. We have here the CXX flex. I'm going to change these to include the source include. And it means we can put our header files in the directory source include and it will be automatically found. A minus G for debug information and a few more warnings. On line 40, there is a typo. The C flex should be CXX flex. Save it. Let's go to the source and add a new file in there called main.cpp. We now finish with the skeleton. So this is a good starting point. Save the starting project somewhere and always make a copy of it and use the copy to work on. So when you start out writing code, you will put your code over here. The start point of the code is the main function. Let's add and print hello world. To run it, click on this button over here. So it will open the terminal, compile it, and then run it. And we can see the string hello world coming back. So all your source code you'll put over here. And the moment you learn more C++, this will be extended and become longer and longer. At a certain point, you will want to organize your code. And a perfect way to do that is to use multiple files. Now I will already demo this because it allows me to show a few things about the interface of Visual Studio Code. So the new CPP files need to be in the directory source. I'm going to do a vector.cpp and the header file needs to be in the directory include. I'm going to call it vector.hpp. I'm going to click on main.cpp to see the content. I can open multiple files at the same time. So vector.cpp, I can drag it to the right and it will open. Vector.hpp, I can drag and drop it over here and it will open. I've now three files open at the same time. What I'm going to do is put some code over here in the vector and then call it from the main. I'm going to create a struct vector with an x a Y and a Z. I'm also going to define a member function that's going to compute the length. So this is extreme class where everything is public. We have defined it. Let's use it over here. We need to include the HPP. And now the definition is known. It's going to return a double as part of the vector and we named it length. It's going to return a square root of x times x plus y times y plus c times z. You can see that Visual Studio Code gives you these wavy underlines. So this identifier is not known and that's because we need to include the math.h. As soon as you save, you can see the wavy underlines disappear. So Visual Studio Code really helps you out with this syntax checking. Now let's use the vector class over here. So include vector.hpp. And now we should be able to use the new vector object. And you can see it works. There are no wavy underlines. So I'm going to initialize the members and then compute the length. So on the object V, I'm going to call the function length. Let's 
bright out the length. We're done. Play, compile and run. And we can see that the computed length is 3.74. So we implemented it correctly. I'm going to close these. So a few things to point out. You can hover over something and it will show you that it returns a double. It's a member of the vector. But you can also right click. And this is particularly important once you have many source files. So you can go to definition, go to declaration. So as soon as you have many files over here and many includes, it's not immediately clear where this function is defined. So you can go to declaration. You can go to the header file or you can right click and go to definition and you can see the implementation. So I hope this short introduction helps you out to get started with programming in C++.